Hey everyone, Chris with another video. Today we are going to be checking out the charging between the Nextbit Robin and the Sony Xperia X Compact. So we have here, I'll show, show my setup a little bit, we have the Chotec 5 port 55 watt quick charge 3.0 capable charger over here. If you haven't checked out my previous unboxing and video, check that out. I'll leave the link down below. We have the Chotec cables both different colors so we can distinguish which one goes to which port over here. You can see the blue and the orange right here. We're going to be plugging the blue to the next bit robin for the blue device and then also the orange for the Sony Xperia X Compact. We're going to be charging them for 30 minutes. We have our timer over here. So I'm going to be able to let that show. I'm going to do a time lapse, um, speed that time up so that way it's not going to be so a 30 minute long video. So right now this whole charging uh, station is actually turned off. We can see by the light. So we're going to go ahead and plug both of these in. But first I'll just show you both of these are completely dead and pressing and holding the power button nothing's coming on. And this Xperia X Compact, it's been my daily driver. Pressing and holding and nothing's coming on either. You can see power low. So we go ahead and just plug these in real quick and again the power is off so this is not going to begin charging that way we are going to get a good comparison as far as charging times go the next bit robin has a 2680 milliamp hour battery and the sony xperia x compact has a 2700 milliamp hour battery next bit robin only supports quick charge 2.0 X Compact supports Quick Charge 3.0. So we are going to compare the percentage of how much the Quick Charge, Qualcomm Quick Charge supports um, in that period of time. Even though the milliamp hours are similar, it's going to be very close, but we'll basically do the calculation of percentage of that milliamp hour and compare the two. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do three, two, one. All right, so we got charging, and this is the charging here. We're gonna go ahead and let that run. I'm gonna leave these powered off. Everything is off that way. The hardware inside is not going to be a factor in the results. So everything is completely off. We'll be able to determine strictly just from charging. All right, so I'll be right back. At every 10 minute interval, I'm going to just turn on the screen real quick to see the percentage of both. So that way we can see where they're standing at every a third of the way through this race. We're closing in on that 10 minute mark. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the screen on first on the next bit Robin as since that does quick charge 2.0 and theory it should be charging slower but still quicker than a standard uh, wall charger. The great thing about this whole Chotec Cho unit is each of these ports pumps out uh, 11 watts max and each of them supports Quick Charge 3.0 in and of itself. Alright, 10% for the X Compact. 11% there in the next bit Robin itself. All right, so I had to actually go ahead and just power that off real quick. We're going to get the percentage in just a moment. All right, it's obviously not 50%. All right, 20, wow, 21% compared to 11%. was not expecting that. So that's interesting. <laughs> we'll come back in a couple more minutes. Now we're a little past halfway mark here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just check the next bit robin again. Let me go ahead and just power off again. I'm not sure why just pressing the power button isn't just turning on the display. Let me check the Sony. We're at 16%. 16%. 16%. 16%. 16%. 16%. 16%. 16%. 16%. 16%. 16%. 16%. 16%. 16%. 16%. 16%. 16%. 16%. 16%. 16%. 16%. 16%. 16
17. And here next bit we're at 30%. So you, I have two possible reasons why this is. One is I forgot to turn off the battery care mode on the X Compact, which can definitely affect possibly the charging speeds or these cables. This cable is not really supported for the Quick Charge 3.0. So my methodology for testing could be wrong. I would have to then retest, redo this in a, a part two and try different cables, the cables that came with the phones. So that way there's no issues whatsoever. Um, so that I probably will produce a part two to this. So we'll stay tuned, see how this charging goes for the next uh, 13, 12, 12 minutes or so. All right, so we're here just under 10 minutes now. We're gonna go ahead and check the next bit of Robin once again. So I really think the cable is the culprit um, more than anything else. Twenty-one percent. So it's about a percent a minute um, for the X Compact, and thirty-nine percent for the next bit Robin. Um, what I'll do is actually boot both of these up and just confirm within the uh, Android OS that the percent that it's registering is correct. So we'll wait just under 9 minutes uh, and my prediction is that this is going to be at 30% which it should be a lot more um, in my opinion and I believe according to Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0 is something like uh, what maybe like half 50% maybe in 30 minutes, but I'll have to double check on that, don't quote me. Alright, closing in on 30 seconds. Let me go ahead and just check the percentage of the next bit robin. And the compact, we're at 30%. So just like I predicted, I do think that there is an issue where these cables don't support Quick Charge 3.0. And next bit, Robin, we are at, looks like 56%. And with that, we are done. I just turned off the power to both of these, so power to both should be at the same time. I'm going to go ahead and just boot up the next bit Robin first. And the X Compact. So the ends of these wires are actually pretty warm, um, especially for the next bit Robin. Not so much for the X Compact. Um, so I'm going to be doing this test again with different cables, um, the ones that actually came with the phone. So it looks like the next Robin is reporting 56%. Yep, you can see up here. 56% right there. And this one is actually only reporting 31%. That is unfortunate, so let me go ahead and I will let you all go. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for part two for this video and com contest comparison, and we'll see how the charging goes with different cables um, to see if that was the culprit. But anyways, thanks for watching. Like if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe, and stay tuned for future content. See you all.